Good afternoon, everyone. I'm Damdala Wazi, a digital marketing executive here at FutureSoft, and you're welcome to Launch and Learn. Launch and Learn is a bar weekly training where each member of staff gets to train people on different topics relating to our industry. If this is your first time joining us, you are very much welcome. Today, I'll be taking the session on the topic, Unlocking the Power of Content Marketing, Captivating Your Audience with Winning Strategies. So here's my section overview. I'll be telling us on how you can understand some marketing principles, how you can craft out compelling content, how you can distribute this content into different channels, and how you can um, create different content formats. I'll also be telling us on how you can measure and analyze your content. Also, I'll be talking about how you can overcome challenges in content marketing. Okay, I'd like to start with this quote. Content is king because it's, uh, it's not about telling stories. It's about telling a story that captures your audience's imagination. So now we say content is king. Content is, is the bridge between you and your audience. So it's not about telling stories only, but it's about telling a story that captures your audience's imagination, how you can capture, how you, how you can capture their imagination. That is what content marketing is all about. So now I'll talk about the importance of content marketing in today's landscape. Content marketing, now, as, we, as we all know, is the strategic heart of crafting and distributing valuable and relevant content to attract and engage your audiences. So these audiences need to be converted, right? We need to convert your target audience into um, the sales you want to make. So this content marketing is the strategic approach that you make, is what you do to, to, to be able to distribute valuable and relevant content. And you have to be consistent with this content so you can attract, so you can engage, and you can convert your target audience. So now, when you understand the act of storytelling and you master the platforms that you can share your content, you can empower yourself to reach a, a, a larger audience with, with authenticity and also the relevance of your content acts to be felt in your content marketing. So that's basically what content marketing is. I'll, I'll go again. It's the act of crafting and distributing valuable content. And that's to be consistent as well. So you can attract and engage your target audience. So that's what, like the introductory part. Also, I'll also be talking about the landscape now. Content marketing is the bridge that connects businesses to their customers. So in, in a era where digital, digital marketing is like, it's one of the very important things for businesses to leverage on, content marketing is very, very important. It's a very, very important tool for you to leverage on First of all, I will talk about um, the importance. First importance is on the audience engagement. Content marketing helps you to engage with your audience by creating valuable and relevant information that resonates with your, with your target audience and their interests. Also, it helps you to build trust and credibility. Content marketing helps you provide um, high and high quality content. So it can establish a credible and trustworthy source of information. When you are when you are working when, when you are actually marketing a product, you need content marketing. You, you need to be able to leverage on content marketing so you can you can actually get um, your audience's attention. So you can create content that resonates with their interests and their needs. Also, you can also create content that um, so as to build trust and credibility. So what is that importance of content marketing? Moving on to that. Also, one of the importance is adaptability across platforms. Your content needs to be tailored to, for different platforms, from social media platforms to blogs to videos, also to ensure that um, your brand's presence is where your audiences are active. So you need to actually leverage on different platforms when working on content marketing. Also, your content needs to be evergreen so that it can continue to provide value. You need to provide, you need to create content that are uh, actually that long-term impact, that gives a long-term impact so it, it can continue to provide value and attract customers at the end of the day. Because over time, things are changing. So you need to work on getting content that are evergreen, that lasts for so long, meaning that it has to be a long-term impact. Yeah. So... Another importance is encouraging interaction. Whatever content you are creating, you need to be able to um, ensure that your content engages your, your, your audiences. It's, you need to create engaging content that sparks conversation, that actually um, sparks discussion and interaction so you can build a community for your brand. Also, what, whatever content you are creating has to be an educational resource. 
content can educate customers about different trends of the of whatever product or business you are, you are doing can actually be a form of um creating or uh, your how, how a product can be used or also uh, best practices for the kind of products you are actually trying to market so this for if your education if your if your content is educational content it can actually position your brand as an authority in your in, in the industry you find yourself so meaning that if you are creating educational content, it's also it's very, it's very very important for you to leverage on on that so that your your target audience can have a feel of and understand that your your brand is a resource um resource center for them. We find all that interesting. So another importance for content marketing is brand awareness. Brand awareness for your for your brand because um when when you're working on content marketing, it it gives you brand awareness. One of the importance. When you, are, when you are consistent and with when you are consistent and you craft your content that, that enhances brand visibility, it helps you to meet your target audience. It, it helps your customers to remember and for them to choose your brand. So one of the importance of product marketing is brand awareness. Also, another importance is uh, enhanced SEO and visibility. Um, content marketing helps you with um helps you rank higher. Once you once you actually leverage on content marketing and you and you, you, you are creating content, so you need to have SEO in mind. You need to be able to use the right keywords so that your your whatever you are creating content on can be visible to your target audience by them searching any any search engine, maybe Google. So then Google googling you out, you can you can definitely pop out. So it's very important to leverage on SEO for visibility. One of the importance of content marketing is lead generation. Uh, when you are creating valuable content, you attract potential leads. It's very, very important. So your content has to be valuable. No matter what you're creating, you have, to be, you have to be able to give value to your audience. Also, storytelling and connection, you have to be able to tell stories with your content so that it can resonate with your target audience. Content marketing allows you to tell brand stories. You can tell your brand story. You can tell a story that can actually foster emotional connection. With your customers and also so that it can make it can they can make your that, that can make your brand more relatable because everybody wants to like uh reconnect with a brand that is uh that is relatable they want to like be able to relate with kind of content you're actually creating whatever you are creating you have to bear it in mind that okay you have to humanize this brand by telling stories of your brand but or different things that, that actually aligns with your marketing goal moving on i'll talk about understanding content marketing so i'll talk about some core principles of how we can create um, content that resonates with your target audience. First off, I would like to talk about audio, audience centric approach. Now, content marketing starts with understanding your audience's needs, their preferences, their pain points. So you need to be able to tailor this content to address this. You need to be able to tailor this content to, um, to be very valuable to your audience. So you need to be able to understand the kind of audience you have. You need to, you need to be able to understand their their needs and their preferences. So that means you need to do a research on, on your audience, your target audience. You need to be able to tell, okay, what your audience love and kind of platforms that resonate with the kind of content you are going to be creating. Also, uh, one of the other, another core principle is consistency. Whatever content you are creating, you need to be consistent. Let's say, for example, a YouTube channel and you, you started creating content on YouTube and you're not consistent. You drop a video today and next 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 month again and oh, in the next three months, you're not going to be found. So that's not how you can actually leverage content marketing to boost your brand. You need to be consistent in whatever content you are creating. You need to create content that establishes brand reliability. And also you need to keep your, your audiences engaged so that you can keep them as a community at all times. Moving on, also, one of the core principles of content marketing is value creation. Like I said earlier, um, all content must be valuable. It might, it might be an additive content. It might be um, an entertaining content. It might be a content that solves problems for your audience. So you need to always create a valuable content for your audience. Another core principle is um, storytelling. Like I said earlier, too, storytelling is very, very important because audiences tend to resonate deeply with, with stories. Because uh, this this content makes it more more memorable and impactful for your audience. When you tell stories uh, of um, different things uh, regarding your content or your brand, people tend to like it. It sticks into people's in, into, into people like it sticks into them. They have an emotional connection with you automatically. So you need to be able to humanize your brand, not just posting pictures and all that. You need to be able to humanize your brand. Let them see you and tell stories that can resonate with your audience. Also, you need to be able to leverage on uh, different um, formats. 
when you're creating content because we have different uh, formats. It can, it can be a video form, it can be a picture, it can be for graphics, maybe anything that you think that your audience can resonate with easily. Also, you need to you, need, you also need to optimize your content for search engine so that, so it can improve your visibility and also attract your organic uh, traffic um on its own to all digital platforms. So you need to leverage on SEO when you're when you're actually creating your content so that you can easily be found with different search engines. Okay, so another core principle is shareability. Your content need, can your content should always be shareable. So that it can encourage your audience to spread the word. You can't just create content that is not shareable. You need to be able to like create content that people can share. People can people that need it. People that find it valuable can share with their own audience and their friends as well. So another principle is also personalization. Once you are creating content, you need to be able to tailor this content into different segments to address your uh, audience's specific needs and their interests. It's very very important for you to personalize your content sometimes. Also, another um, another core principle is measurement and analysis. Every content you're actually creating, you need to regularly track and analyze these key metrics, some key metrics, which we'll, we'll get to at the end of the session. So you can, uh, you can assess the effectiveness of your content so that we will know which content is doing well, which content is not doing well, so you can know how to improve on the kind of content you're you ruling out. So another, another core principle is long-term strategy. Your content marketing is not a marathon at all. No, you need to be able to build sustainable strategies that can evolve over time. You can you, you need to build a long-term strategy that can work and nurture relationships of your target audience. Moving on to the role of content in building brand identity. So that what role does content play in building brand identity? Okay, so I'll start by saying that content plays a crucial role in building your identity because it conveys your values, your personality, your purpose. Not like the kind of content you, you create speaks about your brand a lot, speaks about the kind of brand you, you actually were handling, speaks about, in fact, speaks about you. More like your content is what is the image they are seeing, people are seeing about you. So whatever, whatever, whatever perception you want people to, to feel about your brand has to come from your content. So now, so, and you have to be able to like give the content in different forms blog posts, videos, visual elements, so that people can express their different, um, they can est establish a unique voice and tone to every story you put out there. So now content marketing fosters emotional connections, educates people and set the brand apart from competitors. Also, your, your content should be able to identify, um, separate you from the competitors. Like, yeah, because every business that is going on in, in every industry, people are already doing it. So. In order for it to like be different from your competitors, you need to create content that not just not just your 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 content are creating. Also, you so you have to be innovative in your content. You have to be innovative and create your own unique content. So that makes you a very unique um brand. So when you strategically create content, your your brand can actually have a distinct and a lasting identity that can resonate with their target audience. So these are the rules of content in building a brand identity. Like I said earlier, a content would, uh, will help you to uh, create value, will help you to create your personality and a purpose for your brand. So moving on, also, I'll also say that uh, this content serves as a cornerstone in building brand identity. It's, uh, it's, not, it's, not, just, uh, it's not just about creating um, visual and uh, verbal elements or storytelling. It fosters you to stand up from home, so like I said earlier, so, it, so people can trust your brand more and so they can express um, engage your brand and your brand can also express more value to your target audience. So now I'll talk about how you can create compelling um, content. How can you create compelling content that can actually resonate with your target audience? Okay, the first one is knowing your target audience. Whatever content you are creating, you need to first of all know who are you creating this content for? That should be your why. Like who, like who, okay, who are you creating this content for? You need to be able to understand those people you are creating content for so that you can create the, con the, the right content that can resonate with them. Crafting compelling content is, 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 is a hack that involves creating materials that not only capture their attention, but also resonate with them deeply so they can engage with you. So now, every, 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 every content is a fundamental step to gaining a thorough understanding of your target audience. You need to be able to understand their preferences, their challenges, their aspirations, what they need and what they want to know so that it directs you to know the kind of content you can create. So whatever content you are creating, that's to be relevant. It, it, that's relevant to, to them. 
you have to understand your audience's interests and the concerns so you can create the content that addresses their needs, making it valuable and relevant to them. You can't be creating content that's not relevant to your target audience. Let's imagine the kind of brand you run is um is uh, a, a woman's woman wear brand, and you're creating content for men. It's not resonating with your. <laughs> it's not actually like you're not you're not creating the content for for your target audience. So you need to like create content that uh, that aligns with your target audience. So I. I Another one is you need to be able to forge emotional bonds with your with your content. With the knowledge of your audiences, you need to create the content that resonates with them deeply, forming an authentic emotional connection. So the two things, your content needs to be relevant. It also needs to forge an emotional bond, more like using storytelling to, to create your content. The next one I'll talk about is speaking their language. Your content needs to speak your audience's language. You need to uh, use the, the right tone for your audience, the kind of audience you have. You need to be able to understand your audience's communication style. You need to understand how you can um, foster genuine conversation with them. You need to also uh, be able to create content that can solve and educate your content, your, your, your audiences. You need to be craft out content that offers solution to your audiences um, or their challenges and educate them on relevant topics. You need to be able to create content that builds trust and engagement. Your, your content needs to create engagement for your brands, right? So you need to utilize and understand your, your, your audiences very well so that you can build trust and also capture, um, capture the attention with the kind of content you create. Moving on, I'll talk about content research and ideation. So this content I'm talking about, what's the process? Like, what are we, how, how do we get, how do we do our research on content that, that could resonate with our target audience? First off, you need to do a thorough research. Before every, every content you create, you need to do a thorough research with everything you create. You need to do a thorough research by crafting the content. You need to do a thorough research. You need to delve into research to understand their interests, their pain points, and their preferences. You need to analyze the trends, the industry insights, and the competitors' content to identify the gaps and opportunities that you can actually leverage on, that you can take advantage on to create content that can resonate with them. Second one is audience persona exploration. You need to be able to create a detailed audience personas to analyze your content by targeting by targeting your audiences. You need to be able to tailor this content to specific demographics. You need to be able to understand their behaviors and their needs. Because if you don't understand your audiences very well, then the content might not be speaking well to them. They might not resonate with them. So you need to do a thorough research on your on your audience, on your target audience, it's very important. The next, uh, next one is keyword analysis. Whatever content you are creating, you need to be able to do a thorough research on the keywords, the kind of keywords your target audience will search on Google, but there, there are different applications that can give you all those information. You need to leverage on using them to be able to get the right keyword that you can infuse in your own content. Let's imagine you are working on a blog post. You can be able to get different keywords that can be able to um, that can help you into SEO so that you can use the right keyword that your audiences will actually uh, they will organically get from the search engine. Also, you need to be able to utilize different formats. You can consider using different formats such as articles, videos, infographics, podcasts, or even more. So you can choose the format that aligns with your target audience. You can actually choose different formats. We have TikTok, you have different different formats, podcasts, different formats that can align your audience. So you need to do a thorough research to know the kind of format that aligns with your target audience. But that doesn't mean you cannot try different formats as well. You can try different formats to see which one or speaks well, which one is doing better. So you can create, you can, you can, you can create more of that that is that you create and uh, doing better than every other one. So another one is brainstorming session. You need to be able to have it um, brainstorming session with your team. When, when you're when you're actually creating content, you can have a team of five, team of maybe your colleagues at work, you can have different everybody talk about kind of content that can resonate because everybody has different ideas, right? We don't think the same way, everybody thinks differently. So whatever resonates with somebody else might not resonate with me. So different, every, everybody has different things that resonate with them. So coming together with your team to have a brainstorming session speaks a whole lot because people will be able to reach a consensus on the kind of content that can actually um, um, resonate with your audience. People have different ideas. So sharing different ideas is a very good thing for you to leverage on when you're working on um, content marketing. Also, you need to be able to tap into trends. When you're tapping into, into trends, you need to be very careful because not all trends um, can align with the marketing goal. So you need to, you need to be able to um, jump on trends that align with, with your brand's marketing goal. So that's, very, that's a very, very careful one for there, but you need to be very, very careful on the kind of trends you jump on so that it will not affect your brand. So moving on, I'll talk about originality and uniqueness. Your 
content needs to be original and unique. Like I said earlier, you need to be able to research on the kind of content that can stand you out. You need to be able to offer fresh angles and unique insights so that your target readers will learn and gain from. Also, content, content calendar planning. This is a very, very important thing for if you want to be consistent with your audience, with your with your content, create a content calendar that actually um, plans out everything you're going to be working on. So it could be a one week content calendar, could be a two week, could be a one month. So it depends on, on how you want to do it. It could even be for two months. So it depends on how like you want to do it. And you can actually uh, you can also um, leverage on using auto automated um, tools to be able to post this content on different platforms that you have selected. So um, the next point is embracing storytelling. Like I said earlier, you need to be able to uh, embrace storytelling because this narrative Creatives can humanize your brand. They, they connect emotionally to your audience. Storytelling is very, very important because people really resonate with stories, videos. It's very, very important. So you can like to leverage on that so that your brand awareness can improve. Okay, now I'll talk about diverse content formats. So this content I'm talking about, what formats can we have them? We can have them in different formats. We can have them in engaging articles or blog posts. When you have them in written content, it remains a cornerstone because people get to go to your set, to your website or whatever platform you're using to post your blog post or your articles. They go there to, to read them. Also, having them in captivating videos. Your videos are actually highly shareable and memorable. So you need to be able to utilize them probably for tutorials, for product demonstration, interviews, or storytelling, or whatever thing, or even behind the scene. Which is very very important that people love people love to watch videos we're trying to uh, leverage on captivating videos as well and it will definitely increase your funding marketing goals another one is visual infographics having uh, complex information becomes digestible you need to be able to break it down you need to, be able to condense this data or statistics so that your target audience will easily understand whatever you are discussing with visuals moving on i'll talk about podcast and audit Podcast for podcast for auditory learners. Now this one is like you, you need to be able to dive in, into um, auditory content. People want to listen to you. Probably they are doing other things and they want to just listen. Not everybody loves to read, so you can leverage on different formats that can actually uh, improve your content. So leverage on podcast for probably interviews, solo episodes. Might even be for a might might be discussing a trend or edu anything ed educational. So podcast is a very good one to leverage on as well. Also, interactive quizzes and polls. So having this, you can create quizzes, you can create um, polls, surveys that can entertain your audiences with valuable insights. Having an informative ebook, you can also create this too, because the law is the type of long form format content that can actually establish authority. So you need to be able to offer, you can also offer comprehensive ebook for your target audience as well. Also having inspirational social media posts, this is very important as well. Having, having to post on different social media platforms or different posts that can spark emotions and encourage sharing. So this is a, a very, very, very important thing to also leverage on when you're thinking about different types of content you can work on. Another one is webinars and live stream. You can leverage on different webinars, live stream on YouTube and Instagram, you can, or, or different platforms that, uh, that can enable you to go live. So it's very, very, it's a very, very good thing, good thing to do. You can, then, then you're able to build real time connection with your followers, your target audience, or your audiences at large. You'll be able to answer questions, live stream. You can answer questions and interact with them directly on the, on the live video. So it's a very good thing for you to also leverage on. Also, user generated con content. By, by this, you can celebrate your community because it, let's imagine that a brand, you can, you'll can be able to post their testimonials, their reviews, their custom customer story, because people tend to want to understand, okay, how is this brand doing? Like, they don't want to call it to the end of a scam, right? So they want to, like, see the testimonials that somebody has, like, talked about your brand. So it's very, very, very good for you to le leverage your UCG content. Another one is email newsletters. Like, this one is very important because it gives a personal connection with your brand. Uh, people, when, when you personalize emails and you send to your target audience, this is a very, very beautiful thing to do because this thing, it, it goes directly to your target audience's in, inbox, building a consistent and personal connection with them. Okay, moving on. Now, this question I'm talking about, how can we distribute it? I'm talking about the distribution channels where we can distribute your content. The first one is, I'll be talking about social media platforms. Social media platform is a place for you to leverage all your content. You can post your content on different social media platforms to reach to to reach a, a broader a audience and engage effectively. You can post on 
blogs, on websites, email newsletters, video platforms, podcasts. If you can also leverage on influencer collaboration, so they can they can help you. Um, they can improve. They can they can help you post your content on your own platform to reach it, to reach a larger audience. You can also leverage on press releases, uh, webinars from different different paid advertising channels, print and offline channels as well. Mobile apps as well. They're all nice channels for you to leverage on when you're actually talking about your content. Moving on, measuring and analyzing success. So this content you're talking about, how can you measure and analyze the content, the success of your content? How can you? First off, measuring and analyzing the success of your content involves different various metrics that you can determine to know the effectiveness, to know how your content is doing, to know how, um, how informative or how valuable your content is doing. First of all, you need to be able to measure and analyze your engagement metrics, the likes, the shares, the click through rates, and all that you, that you have on your content. Also, the conventional metrics, so you need to be able to like track that out as well the SEO performance, the audience insights, social media metrics that you have, content type and analysis. There are different platforms or different apps that can give you the answers to all these questions, to all these metrics that we have. So it's been nice for you to leverage on them. Also, you can also track um, your measure, your success by analyzing your high high. You can calculate your cost. You can calculate your and generate your generate um can calculate your cost and revenue. You can also you can also check on, on A/B testing and assessing to know the variations, the headlines and the visuals. So just like showing us how what you can analyze the benchmarking, the customer journey as well. Analysis. You can also check your content. Content distribution metrics, brand awareness metrics, all these things gives you the measures and analyze the success of your content. There are different apps and different platforms where you can use to where, 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 that you can use to know your analysis. The next one I'll talk about are, are the tools for analytics and insight. First of all, I'll talk about okay, to, to be able to know get your valuable insights, you need to be able to have a strategy, and this strategy will help you to make a data-driven decision. So, for example, one of the tools is a uh, website analytics. This website analytics provides your website traffic data because you, you want to know the people that went to your website. You want to know the the platform that that they the platform in, in which took them to your website. You, you want to you want to know how your website is doing. You want to understand the behavior of people to your content on your website. So there are different platforms, there are different hubs that can give you that. There are different uh, sites that can give you that. You can you can actually leverage on. Google Analytics, um, Google Search Console, Google Data Studio, all these things will give you information of your website analytics. Also, SEO and keyword analysis. This We have different web, um, sites to, or different apps that can give you that. This one will provide you insights into website keyword, keyword ranking. You need to be able, you can, you can use all these to know the kind of re keywords you can use for your content. Also, social media analytics, you can track your engagement using different tools you can use social media tools like Bootsuit, Fast Social, Buffa or Buzoma. So you can Buzoma, you can use all that to check. You can also use email marketing analytics like MailChimp to be able to, 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 to analyze your campaign. You can be able to, to include your audience engagement to know the performance of your campaign, to know your open rates, your click through rates and all that, even your subscriber behavior. You can you be able to analyze that with MailChimp and other platforms that showcase that Email marketing analytics. Also, data analysis, comprehensive data analysis, like Adobe Analytics, gives you a comprehensive way of knowing what's going on to be able to analyze your data and for various digital marketing efforts. So these tools are very good tools that can assist you in analyzing your content for a better performance. Now, this is a case study of funding marketing. Okay, so on this particular brand, they want to want to enhance their engagement through and educational content. So now this, this case study is about enhancing engagement through educational content. So the, the name of the brand is LD Bytes. The LD Bytes is a, is a health food company that they are aimed to build brand awareness or brand recognition. And they want to, they want people to engage in that. They want to engage in the competitive market. So this brand is a, is a, is, is not like a new brand. They're just coming and they want to like, they want to be known. They want to build their brand recognition and their brand awareness. So what are we going to do as a digital marketing firm? First of all, we're going to create a marketing, marketing strategy for them that will focus on content, educational content. This content will be able to target health conscious individuals. 
So that's that is what they want to that is what they want to do. Don't target um health conscious individual. That, that is the target, target audience. People who are conscious of their health, people who want to know more about health about their health, people who want to be who want to learn more about their health and know the kind of nutrition nutritional values they can get. So they need to, to, to start the marketing that you are actually leveraging on. Now, how do we execute it? What we want to do is we're going to be creating weekly blog articles, creating informative videos, featuring different experts that will come and talk about different health um, health topics that people want to know, that people should know. We're also going to be creating downloadable guides. So with this LD Bytes, delivering all these kind of values, don't you think people would want to like engage with them? Don't think people, people want to like understand and people want to like follow up the, on their content because people they want to know more about their health, right? So everyone who is interested in knowing more about their health will find this very useful. Will find this brand a very like like a resource a resource center. They will find them as a brand that they need to like follow on social media platforms so they can know when, whenever they drop a content they will quickly go and read it. So this is what how want to attract the kind of audience they want to attract. So now the result we actually foreseen for them is an increase in website traffic because we we'll keep posting videos on websites. We are going to post articles on their website for people to go and read and learn more. We we'll post blog posts, videos for their target audience so they can resonate with them on different platforms. Also, there will be guides for for people who want to uh, learn. People who want to download different ways of preparing LD meals, so there will be guides for them to learn. So I know people will definitely want to go there to, to download it. So this is actually a very good strategy for us to work with. So now this approach will not only elevate the LD by their visibility, but to position them as a trusted source of health information. Every of our, every of our target audience will understand that this is a resource center because they are leveraging on educational content. So with all these I've talked about, this LD bite will be successful because they will be they will deepen their engagement and broaden their customer base because of the kind of content they are actually pushing out. Okay, now moving on, overcoming challenges in content marketing. We know that in on social media or different platforms or whatever, there are different, we have content saturation everywhere. There are competition and we have a, a lot of competitors outside. So how can we overcome these challenges in content marketing? Okay, so one of the things I would like to like talk about is content saturation. Yeah, we understand that everywhere is flooded with content. Content marketing faces different orders, right? But having an effective strategy is what would like overcome, make us overcome our challenges. To overcome our challenges in this content saturation, we need to focus on a niche targeting. We need to be able to focus on a niche, have a niche, create your content with, with a niche in mind. Okay, you know the kind of niche you're creating. Let's imagine you're creating content based on food. So you want, to, you, you want your food to be food, like you want your, your niche to be food. So create your content related to your food. If your content is about air or whatever uh, niche you're picking, let's it, let it be let it be valuable to people who are interested in the particular niche you've created. So let's tailor your content to address specific needs of your of that segment and let it provide a unique value. So you need to be able to educate, to embrace creativity in that niche you have created. You need to be able to explore new formats, angles, and storytelling techniques that can set you apart from competitors. So now you need to be consistent with your content. You need to analyze your your competitor strategy. Sometimes you can go to your competitor's um, page or, or or their website to know what is going on and what you can even improve on, leveraging on their own content. So you can improve on it. So that, that makes you better, right? So you need to be able to analyze all these things and get better in this niche of a thing. You need to, be, you need to focus on that niche and create a, a LD content, create unique content, create valuable content that can be that can resonate with your target audience. So now also, I would say quality over quantity. You need to be able to create quality content over quantity, because you might create, you might create like five different content and only one will make sense out of everything. So you need to create quality of content that can actually resonate with your target audience. So now consistency and sustainability, you need to be able to, for you to maintain a consistent flow of content marketing, you need to create a content calendar. Like I said earlier, I have, I have different topics, I have different formats and distribution schedules. You, you can't just create content and like you need to be consistent and how can you be consistent you need to do your researches on different topics different format that you can leverage on and different distribution schedule that you can also post your content you need to plan in advance 
create batch content. Let's imagine you are, you are a YouTuber. You can create content. You can just schedule your time. Okay, I want to create a YouTube video today, throughout today. You can shoot like five different videos so you can have your content on your on, the, on, on some lazy days. And sometimes, sometimes, you know, sometimes there's something we call content block. Like you're not just, you're not just in the mood to create anything. You're not in the mood to do anything, to create any content. All those days, all the, all the content you have created in batches will work, will, will, will be useful for you to post on those days. So you don't keep your audience waiting and waiting and waiting for you to drop the content. So you can also you can also repurpose evergreen content. This content that you have created in a very long time, you can do you can do an updated video or another an updated content when you kind of on the topic or whatever you are creating. So so that you don't you don't go out of different topics or anything. So you can also repurpose your evergreen content as well. You can also leverage on automation tools. So this can make you also consistent. There are different automation tools that can schedule your post ahead of time, so you turn out so so you don't get to forget and all that. So these tools can help you to prioritize all that you want to post, or so you can you can be consistent with your posting. Also, now this is my conclusion. Content is the key to engaging audiences and building connections. If you really want to like create co content. That are engaging, that can resonate with your audience. You need to be able to create engaging content that can resonate and build connections. You need to be able to leverage on different platforms, different formats that can uh, that can help you create content that can align with your target audience. So you need to be able to understand your audience using different analytics. You need to be able to um, create strategies that help you create stories that can uh, engage with your audience. So you can you can have a lasting impression. So now content marketing remains a driving force. It's very, very important. Without content marketing, then there's no message to any to any customer. Your content marketing is your tool, is your message, is, is what you is what, what speaks for you. It is what, what helps you to, to communicate with your target audience. So it's very, very important for you to leverage on it. And also for you to succeed in this world of digital, you need to be able to leverage on content marketing. It's very, very important for you to leverage on content marketing. Um, I'd like to end with this quote. Content marketing is a compass guiding brands through digital wilderness, leading them to a tribe of engaged followers. Yes, content marketing is a compass, like, you know, compass that guides brands through digital wilderness and leads them to a tribe of engaged followers. So if you are creating content, you need to be able to create content that engages your followers with different strategies that I have, I have highlighted in the course of the training. So um, with these few points, I hope I've been able to uh, make you understand that content marketing is a very, very, very good plan, good way for you to leverage on your brand and your content in making your brand more visible to your target audience. So at this juncture, I would like to ask, for, if you have questions for me, you can omit yourself and ask your questions now. Questions? You have questions for me? Questions, questions, questions. Okay, so in the absence of questions, Please know that this video will be up on our YouTube channel. While, while watching it and you have questions, please drop them in the comment section. We'll be more than glad to respond to your question. So till next time again, join us for another exciting session of lunch challenge. Thanks for joining everyone. Good afternoon.